Thank you and welcome to the 2022 Cleveland Browns Awards, a commemoration of some of the most notable milestones the Browns have achieved thus far in the new year. Now, we've obviously only had the one game so far in 2022, but fortunately, it provided plenty of award-worthy moments, so let's begin. The most mysteriously well-rested award goes to Nick Chubb. Chubb had only four carries in the first half against one of the worst run defenses in the NFL for some reason. Why? Was he injured? Did the Ernest Johnson somehow become better than him in a week? We don't know and likely never will, but congrats to Nick on all of that baffling sideline chill time. Hope it was relaxing. Next, the most creative penalty award goes to Jadavion Clowney, who managed to turn a fourth and long into a first and 10 for the Steelers by removing Chase Claypool's shoe and tossing it like an Austin Powers villain. Oh, who throws a shoe, honestly? The Steelers scored just three plays later. Congratulations to Mr. Clowney for finding a creative and fascinating new way to hurt my team. You guys never run out of ideas. Next. And now it's time for the induction of this year's Browns team slogan, tough, smart, and accountable into the terrible and or ironic Browns mantras hall of fame, where it will take its rightful place next to welcome to the hard land of America and play like a Brown, a well-deserved dishonor. Next, the Remarkable Consistency Award goes to none other than Baker Mayfield, who at one point in the first half threw 10 straight incompletions. It's obviously quite hard not to complete one out of 10 passes, even by accident, but we found a way. Of course, Baker would be the first to tell you that ineptitude of that consistency is a team effort and wouldn't have been possible if not for impressively bad drops by teammates like Austin Hooper, with whom Baker has so little chemistry, I honestly don't believe they've ever met each other. Next, the Valuable Life Lesson Award goes to rookie offensive lineman James Hudson, who was a major contributor to the Steelers' nine sacks on our already badly injured quarterback. Hudson himself spent more time on the ground than yard mulch last night, proving that he still has a lot to learn about his job, which is essentially just getting in people's way. And finally, the perfect summation of the season award goes to punter Dustin Colquitt, who somehow managed to injure himself while doing the only thing that is his job, punting a football. If this Brown season could be represented by just one 2022 Browns football play, it is inarguably that one. Congratulations and I'm sorry to all of our winners. I know that the new year has just begun, but if this is any indication of what we have to look forward to from the Browns in 2022, we're in for a stimulating year. Good night, everyone, and go Browns! <laughs> Ah, the Cleveland shade that we love so much. He never disappoints. No. Nope. He absolutely brings it every time. I, as I'm watching the game, I've done this throughout the year, I, I tend to think ahead to, Brown, to, to Polk's Browns pieces the next day, and I'm literally thinking, wow, what is he going to do with this mess? There's just so much material. Yeah. And he bottled it all up in a two-and-a-half-minute nice, neat package, and there it is. By the way, I'd like to give Mike a, 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 an award of our own oh. here on What's New. He has the most diverse wardrobe of any three news talent. Yes. I think that's easy, there's, safe to say. There's a budget for that, I'm sure. It, yeah. And he's probably over budget It's in the tens of dollars. Yes. I've gone shopping with Mike. Yes. Let me tell you. He's you think you're thrifty? Uh-huh. No. He's next level. Yeah, he, he is next he, level. He definitely is. He is next.